Chinese. The Chinese. Mm -hmm. okay. I have owned Chinese shares for many years. I have never bought A shares because A shares are always more expensive. I like to buy the cheap shares. Yeah, I used to sell too soon or too late or whatever, and would always regret it. 车呀，掉到悬崖下去了，风险很大。So that was exciting for you. 对。See, see, it can be fun. Don't get married too soon. That to me, I learned the hard way. 我的同学没有娶了我，可能现在没有人娶我。好像这只股票终于卖出去了。他们说焦虑是所有投资人的通病。It's you against the world every day. Yifengsujin 有羡慕者必有城市之人 Have you ever driven across the Taklamakan? Have you been to Hami? Have you and your husband ever taken a, car, a trip in a car? Have you been to Dunhuang? Dunhuang, no. Sorry. Let me show you China. <laughs> I've been to Dunhuang three times. Kashgar, have you been to Kashgar? Kashgar,还去过天山。我还去过天山,而且是开车跨越冰山,但是很遗憾不是跟我老公。but you flew to Kashgar. We flew to Kashgar. We flew it can be fun. I think it's partly because I grew up in a small village that was far back in the backwoods. And many people who live in places like that never leave. But I knew I wanted to see the world since I was very young. People have been asking me for a long time. What do you want? I say adventure. When I was driving around the world, uh, going through the Congo, I was held hostage for nine days uh, in the Congo. They, they wouldn't let us go. Uh, that was exciting. It was fun. Uh, when I was driving through the war in Angola, a general stopped us and made us, uh, you see, you cannot go any further. Uh, my wife, that was the only night she cried out of fear. There were soldiers everywhere, little boy soldiers with guns. She was terrified. I was scared. Uh, fortunately, the next day, I had a Polaroid camera, so I got out the Polaroid. Many people in the world have never seen a photograph. So I got out the Polaroid, and I took a picture of one of the soldiers. Now, he might have shot me, but I took him and I showed him the picture. He was so weak, he had never seen a picture of himself, so they all, and then the general came, and I took a picture of the general, 
and I took pictures of all of them. They were so happy. This is in the middle of Africa. This is the middle of a war, a huge war. And I was taking Polaroids of everybody. And that was a lot of, it was terrifying, but it turned out to be a lot of fun. Well, it is astonishing uh, because everywhere, you, first thing, the answer to your question is we're all the same. It is astonishing how we're all the same. I would get to one place, I would get to here, and they would say, where have you been? i say, I've been here. Those are terrible people. They're horrible. I'm surprised you're still alive. And they'd say, where are you going? i said, say, we're going here. You're going to get killed. Those people are terrible people. They have different skin, different language, different religion, different food, different clothes. They're terrible, terrible people, and you're going to get killed. But when we got there, of course, they were all the same. We were all the same. People say bad things about people they don't know. Politicians are always trying to stir things up. But we're all the same. It's astonishing. Politicians come along and say they're bad. Go kill them. And then the next thing you know, you have 20-year-old kids killing each other. When the 20-year-old kids would like to be playing football together or dancing or drinking beer or something. It is astonishing how we're all alike. Chibi 但是我觉得人在旅行的过程当中，其实是不断在印证自己的选择，也不断在修正自己的选择，就是来证明自己对事物的判断的能力。所以在这个过程中，我也特别想希望你跟我们分享一下，你认为呃你的一些错误的选择
in a big way at anything. And then suddenly I had failed. I failed with a woman and I was terribly embarrassed, terribly pained. I couldn't bear the pain at times. But as I say, thank goodness. First of all, I learned from it. I learned that even if you split with another person, you'll get over it. I mean, some people commit suicide. Some people do really strange things when they get broken hearted. I now know don't ever, no matter how much your heart is broken, don't worry. I can tell you when I first started in the stock market, at one point I was, in a short time, I made so much, I was so successful. I couldn't believe how successful I was. Everybody around me was going broke and I was making a lot of money. And I thought, boy, this is easy. I'm going to be so successful at this. Five months later, I had lost everything, everything. I was broke. I went from being the smartest guy I knew to being the dumbest guy I knew in no time. I lost everything. This was early in my, in my career on Wall Street. And I say to young people now, especially, I say to everybody, there's nothing wrong with failure. There's nothing wrong with losing a lot of money or losing money. But it's better to do it when, it's, when you're young, when it's not so much money. It's better to lose 100,000 renminbi than 100 million renminbi. Because 100 million renminbi, when you're 60 years old, hurts. 100,000 renminbi when you're young is not so bad. Um, but it teaches you. It teaches you about yourself. Can you come back? Some of the greatest successes in world history have been people who have failed once or failed twice. And it can be very useful. 我想可能不是所有的人都能够像你这样输得起第二，时间会让你把这个看起来不好的事情最终变成好事情。第三点，你来总结好不好？ Well, I will tell you that uh, one thing I have learned is that when I have a failure, it's always my fault. Many people try to blame it on the broker, or TV, or the magazines. They try to blame it on somebody else. But I have learned that every time I have had a failure in the stock market it's been because I did not do enough research myself. I was not well enough prepared and so I got lazy or sloppy or whatever. It's always my fault. Jimmy,接受,改进。众多商界的成大事者并不给自己预留沉溺痛苦的时间。罗杰斯一夜之间输得只剩下衣服和一辆二手摩托车，经常商场双双失忆的他，五个月前还幻想在而立之年成为百万富翁，转眼之间一切便只是泡影。可贵的是，这位二十八岁的年轻人并未因此
most things in life. Yes, it's more true of investing than other things. But once you sell something, you should not look back. I have learned not to look back. Yeah, I used to sell too soon or too late or whatever, and would always regret it. But now I don't look back. So, traveling will be a very good antidote to anxiety. In my case, yes, it taught me a lot. It taught me that many countries have risen, many countries have declined, that some countries have been very rich. It, it doesn't matter. The world is always changing. That is an extremely important lesson which I learned: that no matter what you think is true today, it's not going to be true in 15 years. You pick any year. Pick 1900. Everybody thought the way the world was in 1900. 15 years later. Everything had changed dramatically, and that's true in people's lives too. So I think you can use traveling to use unknown factors to counter uncertainty. Because you don't let yourself stop. You let yourself continue to absorb new things, and then to counter the failures of yesterday, and then you will get a new success. That's the excitement. That's the adventure. That's what's wonderful about going around the world. You're right. You never know; it's going to change constantly. But even the bad experiences teach you something, and makes you a better person, and is exciting to deal with. Tree, tree. 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 对未知的慌张，对存在感的迷茫，让人们在这个快速前行的时代里渐渐失去定力。于是，财富与理想成了不可相交的平行线，而后者更成了少有人走的路。My name is Jim Rogers. Friends have come across. I'm very pleased to be here. If you want to hear what we talked about for investing in 2015. I suggest you watch Come Across. You think what is the best thing in life in your life? Being happy. As I said before, the people who are happy are the ones who are the most successful at making money or anything else.、Uh, and if they, if they don't make money, they don't care because they're happy. But I also hear some young people tell me that if we just focus on 只把快乐作为我们生活好好与不好的唯一标准的时候，可能我们年轻的时候会很幸福、很快乐，但是我们到岁数越大的时候，就会变得很悲惨。Well, no, that would be a problem. But if you're happy when you're young, I don't know why you wouldn't be happy when you're older. You may... 因为错过一些机会，没有积累足够的财富。We cannot all be successful. One thing about life is that there. People who don't succeed. There's nothing we can do about that. But the best way to find out is to at least find out what you love, follow your passions. People used to say to me, "If you go around the world on a motorcycle, you might get killed." And I would say yes. But I would be worse if I didn't try it. If I, I all my life, I would wake up some day and say, "I never tried." I always wanted to go around the world on a motorcycle. But I never tried. Can you imagine being 85 years old and saying, "I never even tried"? So it's better to try and fail than not try at all. People would say you might get killed. Yes, yeah. But at least I'm going to die happy if I get killed going around the world on a motorcycle. I could get hit by a bus in New York. Huh. I'd still be dead. I wouldn't be happy. <laughs> but if I got killed on my motorcycle, at least I would have been happy.